an engineering feat in action. Over the course of a few weeks in 2008, 1,100 boulders making up a breakwater that had become colonised with coral were lifted, attached to the bottom of a barge and carried out to sea. Typically, around two-thirds of the coral dies in reef relocations, but here almost all survived and are now thriving. But with a price tag in excess of $10 million, it was not cheap. The reef itself was moved from about 18 kilometres in that direction here to the World Island Project, one of Dubai's iconic developments. Now, why would a company want to do something like this? It was the largest coral reef in all of Dubai and uh, it would have been a, a crying shame if that reef uh, were to suffer as a result of the development that was going to go on. But also because uh, a little bit of self-interest, um, because it was such a large and well-established reef, we thought if we could successfully uh, translocate the reef, we would be able to use it to help jump start some of the coral reef growth on our projects as well. So it was a little bit of community service and a little bit of self-interest as well. And the economic impact of the move is likely to be felt quite widely. The best diving in the UAE is on the other side of the country in an entirely different emirate. It's expected that Dubai's relocated reef will be open to divers soon and diving companies are very excited about that. It is cost. It's has, it has a very good diving site, especially it's part of the Indian Ocean. So the aquatic life there in the Indian Ocean, you'll find it in Fujairah. However, after finishing the, 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 the reef project in Dubai, people are, we, we're expecting more people to come to Dubai because of the warm water, because of the good visibility. And that's mean, of course, for us as a diving sector, more business, more business for people who want to do courses, rent equipment, buying equipment, and doing diving trips. This is one of our plant rooms where we house all our life support systems for our... And there are other businesses here trying to help conserve and develop coral reefs, the global economic value of which has been estimated at $30 billion a year. Uh, take cuttings from the mother coral and uh, grow them up before they go out into the wild. This aquarium takes corals from the sea, breaks them into pieces to grow and then reattach to the reef. They demonstrate the technique to visitors and hope to build a reef up to a kilometre long. But with 1,500 square kilometres of coral disappearing on average every year, are efforts like this not just a drop in the ocean? Not really, because what you're getting from this is a lot of education. So, yeah, all right, you know, we're not going to create a, you know, an, an, a new barrier reef in, here in, uh, in the UAE. But what it does do is educate the public. So when the public realise that, you know, these, these fragile, very fragile ecosystems are being destroyed. And, you know, and if people can, you know, when they go on a holiday, take a little bit more care when they're diving or when they're snorkeling and, you know, things like that, then, and they understand that, that these reefs need to be looked after. They're very, very important. They've been around for millions of years. It'd be sad for this kind of generation of people to make, you know, to help them disappear. And it's worth remembering that the reef relocation happened at the height of Dubai's construction boom when there was plenty of money sloshing around here. The company behind that project reckons that if similar circumstances arose again, they'd do their best to try and make another move happen. But they do acknowledge it was a lot easier to make the case for something as expensive as this 